Welcome back to Oh in the World Plays Out of the Park Baseball 21. It is time for the 1873 season. We are the Baltimore Maryland. Eventually, we will become the Chicago Cubs. So if you have skipped here, we will just kind of give you a quick overview of what has happened. So we made a big trade. We traded Bob McAtee to the Mutuals for Glenn, C.A. Snyder, George Wabel, and Bill Lennon. It's a lot. Because that was after we traded Jacob Doyle to the Canaries for Charlie Gould, Everett Mills, Riney Walters, and Charlie J. Smith. So, it is time to jump on in. And we open it. We are favored to win, which is a plus, and by a good amount. So let's see. Will it let me play? It will. Yep. I have an illegal number of players on the roster. I figured I might run into that problem there. Um, let's see. Joe Batten, I don't think you are a very useful player right now. Bellin Hollingshead, we traded for him, didn't we? No, he's unhappy, but he's going to AAA to get some seasoning. 19, we still have seven outfielders. Um, Wable can probably go to AAA. Probably only need five at most. That would be... Tommy Beals. And Smith. 16. I don't think Snyder's going to give us much, so he's getting the send down too. Cool. So. We can feel pretty good about that. I figured that was going to happen, but we had to try. So, we lost in extras. We got walked off. Slightly more sane game. We only had eight hits, evenly spread. But... Okay, we played good Washington. But we got the win, 13-3. That's the big thing. Yeah, the seven-run second would do it. Radcliffe, three for five. Picking up Randy Walters, having two legit starters, I think will be the big thing for this season. Now we play Philadelphia. Oh, Pratt getting wrecked. Well, not really. He's doing pretty good. But I'm going to need a little bit more out of this lineup. At least our first baseman is no longer batting 12. <laughs> okay. Boston Red Stockings. Our nemesis from 1872. There we go. 6 0. A shutout. Ryan Walters coming over and being an ace. And only one error from our defense. Even better. Dick Hyam back to hitting. 3 for 5. Two RBIs. Now we play Elizabeth Resolutes because that would be a team name. And they beat us. 21-24. They got an extra field goal. Yeah. Al Pratt. Oh, and you threw Walters. That ought to be fun. Okay. Now at New York. 
No, Ryan Walters' first double of the season was the key thing. That's good. Yeah, so far, we're winning when Walters pitches and losing when Pratt pitches. See if we can beat Elizabeth now. No, we cannot. <sighs> Well, that's unfortunate. We're getting our games all bunched up here early. So we play Philadelphia. Yeah. Dick Hyam, his potential has gone down. Okay. I mean, Batten. Triple A is improved. Good. Um, okay, we play the Washington Nationals. Hopefully, we can beat them. Yay, they're still bad. But we're not good. 17 6. Bellin went three for six, three singles. Yeah, the back half of the lineup did well. Pratt got the hits. We finally got a win with him on the mound. I mean, we are looking a little rough, so we get to play them again. That's Hopefully we can beat them twice. And that can get us moving. Just get us enough momentum into the season. Yeah, 20 to nothing. The Washington Nationals are terrible again. Four hitter. No strikeouts, no walks. Ryan Walters. Been saving our season here. Four hits for Hatfield. Four for Bechtel. Only two for Hyam. And three for Radcliffe. Two for Glenn. So, we made our moves. So, hopefully, the next stop will be the Athletics, who aren't doing as well this year. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Get extras again. What is this? Why can't Al Pratt get any... <laughs> get luck. Okay, well, we play the Athletics again. 10-5. Yeah, it's just, there's not a rhyme or reason. Not a rhyme or reason. So now we play the Mutuals. And it's an Al Pratt game, so hopefully we can do okay. Nope. Al Pratt pitched, so somehow we lost. I mean, this is becoming comical at this point. Like, how is he being this bad? Giving up a lot more hits, but... We play the Canaries. Can we beat them? Hopefully we can beat them. Yeah, it was Ryan Walters. We won. I mean, it's just silly season right now. So, okay, we'll play till our next game. Five twenty-four. That's a week. Somebody blue legs, Washington blue legs. So it's the good Washington. Yay, we won an Al Pratt game. <laughs> That's all we've been rooting for is an Al Pratt win. We're predicted to win 45 games. We've lost seven already. We're going to need to come together here. Hatfield, three for five. Glenn, three for five.
We're only two back, but we've played 15, some have played nine. Washington Blue Legs. It is a Riney Walters game, so that does give us an advantage. And wow. Yeah, so basically it's looking like our number two starter is much better than everybody else's number twos, and our number one is much worse. Yeah, seven and two for him. Hatfield, four for five. We're starting to roll. We got 11 emails. Over here, anything over there we care about? No. At the Athletics. We seem to be the ones trying to take it to us right now. Okay. Al Pratt, can you give us a win? Yeah! Here we go. Getting rolling. And it's Al Pratt getting the hits. That's what we like. Three for five. Or one for five, but three RBIs. Hey, you take them however you get them sometimes. We're not hitting anywhere near as well this year as we have in the past. We play Philadelphia again. We're just playing... F oh, where's your personal message? Player development. Dick Hyam. You just... Yeah. It's just bouncing around. Jack Burdock. He's now rated as a second baseman instead of a pitcher. Anson, his potential dropped. But his current power improved. His current speed improved. But his current rating... What? So you don't think he'll develop as much. He's struggling. Okay. Jod Radcliffe. His I rating went down. You know, defensive rating at shortstop, though, got better. He's just 24. Yeah, I mean, he's the one who's having a good year. Okay. So we get to play the Athletics again. Now that we seem to be rolling, can we get Ryan Walters win? We did. We've won five in a row, and we're on the chase. Yep, John Glenn, W. Glenn. Apparently we are, have a platoon out there. John Hatfield, two run single. Oh, big seventh inning. And Ryan Walters just continues his run. So if we can get an Al Pratt win. Nope, it was Al Pratt, we lost. Hey. In the Battle of Baltimore. And the thing is, is he's not pitching any worse than Riney. Like, that's what makes no sense. Now we're playing Brooklyn, the Atlantics. So, I mean, these are the big ones. We gotta win these. And we got Riney. So good. We do have... We do lead the league in wins, but we've played more games. We've played 20. We do need to pick up our pace here. But Ryan Walters, 9-2, giving us a good season. So we play the Canaries next, which are towards the bottom. Well, they're just below us. Yeah, because we've moved within a game and a half. We've got to beat them. Hey, the Nationals won. So that's a plus. There we go. 11-3. And it was an Al Pratt game. Everett Mills. Two-run triple. Yeah, at least we're coming back. At least we're coming back. Did I put... I didn't put... Burdock down. Okay. I didn't think I did. I hadn't seen him playing. I mean, we're going to start to have a lot of people upset in the minors at some point, but at this point, we need to just get on our run. We're only a game out. Well, technically two. Let me pray. Washington Blue Wigs. The good Washington. But we won 9-4. Yeah, Riney Walt, but it was a Riney Walters game, so 
that would be why. Home runs, Bechtel got a homer. Home runs are just a random thing in this era. So that's one of those strange things. Next game, Brooklyn Atlantics. These are the ones that have to be wins. We're tied for wins. They've played 13. We've played 22. Who knows what these these standings make no sense. We've got the overload on the front of the schedule. But we won an Al Pratt game against Brooklyn. Yes. I am two for five. Not hitting as well as you. And the team were not hitting well. But Radcliffe got a second homer of the year. So we'll play until, well, the mutuals. That's important. They've started to catch up on games. That's even better. <laughs> but yeah, it's turned into a, essentially a four-team race. A six. 13-2. Now it's Ronnie Walters. It was tied for 10th in bases on balls with three. That's just a random stat. I love it. But Hyam got his hits. Anson got his hits. Bechtel hitting. So. And Ryan Walters just keeps cruising. Next game, Washington Nationals. That's awesome. That means we're playing. Hopefully... We can beat them. They're one of the few teams you always feel good about playing. 21-2. to two. Yet for a game back, chasing Brooklyn again. Yeah, 5 for 7. I mean, he had 5. Anson had 4. Glenn had 3. We had 23 hits, but they were spread pretty evenly. I mean, I think... That would be the big problem, is they're pitching this guy, Johnny Ryan, who is a closer. Yeah, I don't know. So, next game, Red Stockings. 13 to 12, huh? So we're a game and a half back. Gotta beat them. Gotta get on our win. 8-7. Whoo, always feel good. We walked it off in a close one. Defensive miscue. Jack Burdock got sent up. Pinch hit, and he did it. There's a Ryan Walters game, so the luck fell our way. Hits all the way across Booth. I'm four for five. Yeah, you keep flipping Booth and... Um, Glenn. So we play the mutuals again. Oh, I received a personal message. Player development update. Jack Burdock. Looking better. Yeah, looking like a legit player. So we like that. Um, so we need to finish our game at New York. 10-2. We're rolling now. We've won eight in a row. Finally, we're starting to play like we should. We're winning Al Pratt games, which has been our buggity boo on this one. Brooklyn Atlantics. Okay, for the division. Can we get it? No, we can't. We just can't get over the hump against them. Like, it's there, and then it got yanked away, and it was a Ryan Walters game, too. Now we play the Athletics, and they're a good team. But we won, so we moved up. We got the half game, 9-6. Radcliffe, 3 for 5. Yeah, Al Pratt's starting to roll. That's what we want. And we play the Canaries towards the bottom. Good. Put, keep pushing them down, putting them down. Everett Mills did well, 9-4. We had a 5-run 7. That's 
What? Where we got it? Hits? Spread? Nobody's having a great year. Nobody really is. So we'll get to the next game, another Canary game. I played 30. The Atlantic's have played 25. Hopefully they've had more against the Nationals. And I don't think we've played the Eckfords either. So we still should have those six. So we should still there should still be an automatic ten. So the all-star teams were announced. So let's read them all. Let's pop in. Let's see what happened. Who we got? And who are we? Ryan Walters and Al Pratt. Both of them got it. Ryan Walters having a good year. 13 and 3, 242. We're getting good value out of him. Al Pratt just been he's just been unlucky. He really has. Yeah, Hyam got in. That was not a shock. I mean, he's one of the best catchers in the league. Anybody else? Hatfield. He deserves it. Having a good year. We can feel that. Hatfield made it. Radcliffe. That's good. We got five guys who've made it. He's in 375. Um, in the outfield, shouldn't be any of our guys because we don't really have those types of players. So, finish. We received a personal message. Mid-season review of goals. Thanks for bringing in Everett Mills. Yeah, I know. He was... He's looking a lot better. How, how much better is he looking? Or do we just feel better having him play for us? I think we just feel better having him play for us. And I do think he is a little bit of an upgrade, um, even if he is just like a one-win player. We're second in home runs. Yeah, attendance is just, you know, a, a random thing. Scouting director, how do I feel about Mewson? He's probably one of the better ones. Ooh. You want five years. Can I go 115? Would that be enough for you? Thank you. And Jimmy Wood. I mean, I think we have to extend him. Five. Ooh, you want. Can I offer you a hundred? Thanks. And the prospects, Baltimore, Maryland. Love it. Strat. Yeah, we're keeping them down. Um, just for reasons. So, finished today. Received a personal message. Count Gedney. Okay, you want a better contract. Can I give you 120? Okay. So we've hit the all-star game. I wish we would keep the same name. It would really help the long term. But... Mm. Yeah, our box score. Hyam got a hit. Cool. Radcliffe got to play. Hatfield got out there. Pratt took the loss. Yeah, he deserved that. So let's go over. This is for mid-season. We'll check out our leaders. Over here in the National League, you can see... Let's see, average Hatfield chasing, but Levi Merrill way out in front. Home runs, Radcliffe tied for first with two. RBI, Anson, 
doing what he does, what a clean pitter is supposed to do. Doubles, Bechtel leading, Anson chasing. Pitching leaders. Yeah, I mean, Riley Walters having, having himself a season. They're both pitching well. Um, yeah, perhaps losses are the issue. Um, yeah. Let's scroll through there, see if there's anything of great interest. Um, team statistics, just quickly looking at batting, see if we're out of whack. 314, we're hitting pretty well. Well, Washington's hitting 202. On base, 336, slugging 402. So we're hitting pretty good. We're leading in runs. Pitching, how are we looking here? I mean, it's all thrown off by those teams. 259, 251 ERA, earned run 77, runs 160. So that is the thing. Brooklyn is a lot better pitching. We will check fielding here just to see if there's anything that we're missing. Zone rating, we are a pretty good fielding team overall. Yeah. I mean, we're actually the best fielding. It's going to be hard to catch Brooklyn. They're actually probably the best team. Uh, we'll pop over here, look at batting stats, I think. Look, sorting it by war is always the best way. You can see who's best. Um, so this is where we will end this, and we'll be back for the second half of the season and hopefully a World Series run. We are in the chase, but you never know. So thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.